Okay, today uh, I want to talk about uh, how to win your launch. So I want to um, share with you some thoughts and some learning on how we can launch a product or a program. And I know some of you already have programs, some of you have uh, products, and uh, it's always a good exercise to, uh, to look at uh, if I would really wants to relaunch a new program or I want to review what I was doing before. Okay? So, um, from the last, uh, from the last uh, material, we understand uh, there are a different levels of engagement with the, with, the, with the general public or with the audience. So, we say, you have a general public, you have audience, <coughs> and this audience will be leads, end up to be prospects, and then you have uh, what? Clients, and then you have a customer, and then you have repeated customer or somebody who is in the funnel. Okay? Before we continue, I want to make sure you understand that. Um, um, this is are not uh, rigid, solid definitions. There are some businesses where you don't have all of these layers. And there are some businesses, for example, if you have client and customer, if you are doing uh, consumer products, most likely your customer will be your client. But if you, have, uh, if you are uh, with an organization or you sell to institutes and organizations, the customers usually define the guy who will have the financial transaction. So your customer will be the company. However, who is the client? So for me, if I sell to um, an organization, then the, the customer is the organization because they're the ones that are paying me and the yeah. client would be the employees who come to the program. Yes. Okay. In this model, I want to make it in this way. Because... Uh, if you stand in front of your client and your client are coming through an organization, your client will not be interested in the price, will not be interested in the cost. So if you design so many programs and you deliver them to clients and there is another customer, you will find yourself don't have your price list. Your price list will be somewhere else. Okay? So. I want to use this model because, uh, so if we review what is the characteristics of each one of these. So general public, they can be the, is, any, is everybody and anybody, okay? We always say the public will be 3% of them buying a product 7% of them considering a product as a change, 30% of them will buy it in a, in, in, at one point in the future, and 30% of them will, are not aware of your, pro, of your uh, solutions or your brand. And there are 30% of them who reject your product no matter what you do. Are this is rigid percentage? The answer is no. This is our categories of uh, correct, a specific characterization of the general public. So if I go to a crowd and I say, my name is uh, Fred, there are 3% are looking for Fred, there are 3% in the, when circumstances will change, they will look for Fred, 30% in the future, they will think of Fred, and 30% in the future, uh, they are not aware of Fred exists in this room, and 30% 30, 30 will not talk to Fred no matter what Fred will do, okay? We always uh, say, okay, is this confusing because there's something else we talk about called 80-20 rules, which is 20% of the time you will fail and 80% of the time you succeed. 80% uh, of, of people will buy your product, 20 will not buy. <coughs> what we do is basically we said the 80-20 rules will just give you a different percentage here. These numbers are true for a specific product in a specific study, in a specific time, in a specific region. So 
So when they analyzed few states around buying vans and the SUVs, <coughs> somewhere between 2008, I believe 2012, they came up with this percentage for a specific brand. They came up with this percentage. The only retain I would love you to have in your brain is there are five different categories or five different classes, which is this general public or your audience you can reach may include. For sure, when you stand, and if you want to pick up examples, um, the, the, the class of I'm not aware of your service or your solution. Uh, somebody, somebody who will deliver a message around uh, uh, new techniques for stress management. Not many people are aware of this solution. That's right. So maybe your audience will be, maybe you'll be meeting more than the 30% who are not aware of your solution. If you are in financial uh, service or you are in insurance business and you are in front of someone in the front uh, buying a new house, you are in the category of 3%, that's right? Because the one in front of you is now doing what? If you are a mortgage broker, but uh, we don't, people are only going to the bank as a newcomer, they don't know about the mortgage broker, they will become this category. Okay? Any questions? And uh, I'll just, I keep repeating it. I know this is, might not be the first time to listen to it, but you have to understand that this is one of the fundamentals. Now, the general public will be different. They will receive messages based on different uh, state that these people are in as well. So in one of my books, I talk about a very simple model and there are so many sophisticated models, but it's a very simple model. People are, their behaviors are mandated or dictated by their history and their previous experience and their nature. So if somebody was living in an area where everybody are thinker, he will end up being thinking. So we classify people as um, head or brain, heart or feeling, um, feet or steps. And there are the gut and the guts are, I would love to have all my clients guts because they either buy or don't buy or don't bother. They either bother or don't bother. So, if you only have people who can buy or not buy without any convincing, this is the easiest way. Our job is to sort with our messages to convert people to go to the next level. Okay? So example of, of, a, of a brain uh, decision-making procedure, it has to do logic. It has to be logical. It does make sense. Uh, it, it doesn't make sense to me when I stand and people say, oh, I will, I will sell you this uh, magnetic water or demagnetized water and it will help your body because whenever I go to any doctor, I usually don't see a demagnetized water. That's right. Um, for me, uh, Best life regressions and meditation. Meditation are good because I understand how it what what's doing for the heart and the, the blood pressures and stuff like that. But there, because I'm logical domain, people need to show me logic. I still can be sold on a on a hypnosis, by the way. But I need to be receiving messages saying why hypnosis makes sense. What are the examples and what is the logic behind it? So have you ever thought about actually getting yourself hypnotized? I cannot be. I cannot. I can. I am one of this. Ma one of these people who cannot be. I, I was in so many sessions and I have actually more than uh, now about a dozen of different clients who are having hypnosis at certain part of the business. So, so I was in different sessions. I was in a public sessions. I wasn't seeing like. I noticed that there are people from the stage can be hypnotized uh, and uh, there are people on the stage and they cannot. 
But for me to buy a product, I am a brain. I need to see logic. For a heart, they need to feel good about it. Heart means your feelings, you and the surrounding. So if I come and say, when you manage your stress, you will have a better relationship with your uh, family and your brothers and your roommate and your work and you make all of them happy. A heart, a heart dominant will resonate with this message. So a heart wants to see the, want to feel good about the impact and how the impact. So if I am selling a heart, a heart uh, dominant individual for business side, I say, yeah, if you come and we, we show you the training, your business and your employees will feel good, will be more successful. It's not only you, it's you and your surrounding. You will bring a peace to you and the surrounding. Uh, for sure, if you understand this, means that your presentation has to be logical and your presentation has to be nice and uh, appealing. This is one level of it. But the reality of the heart decision-making or the feeling decision-making, they have to feel good about themselves in the program they have to feel good about the outcome and they usually like to see how this will impact other people who they do know does this make sense so uh, we, can, we will have an exercise if you have a a, a launch pro product right now is to come and say okay show me inside your material where you address these particular feelings. Number uh, three, which is we can target, will be the steps or the information. Many of us, because the nature of business, we are successful in it, we are steps driven and sequence driven. And, and I'm not sure how many of, of you will meet somebody who say, your talk are great show me how if you meet somebody who say show me how it means these people are what steps. they need to see but isn't that the same as logic what's the difference with logic and steps then? steps means you do step one step two step three step four step five okay, and lead them through the, the process so your system yeah. will have steps right. will have is not like when I came and offered my program, I said, yeah, step number one, you explore your authority. Step number two, you try to figure out your program, what you can, uh, how you can leverage and get your authority into an offer. And then you need to work on the marketing by positioning your books, your material, tweaking your messages, how to win your, uh, how you win, win your market, how to set up the seminar and how the seminar will be structured. So we started with two main steps. Okay, and then you have the other steps which will follow. That's why it ends up being 12 steps, which is not a recovery program. Is, is, in, is in reality a recovery program from everything else you are doing wrong toward your brand, okay? but So a bookkeeper or an accountant. So if a bookkeeper or an accountant will work on a GST claims, they need more details than anybody else. Like at certain point, people will elect to not bother with the GST claim because they are too much. That's right. So people who deal with details or steps or info, I don't want to put all the other acronym, but uh, you, you can put in your notes. So, so feet-based decision-making is I would like to see a system which is bulletproof system. If you sell and I know many of us are in the area of co consumer, but if you sell to organizations and you wanna sell the lower management, you need to show them how they will not be embarrassed in front of their bosses and this how it will be good for them. And what are the systems where they can go to their bosses to pr pr produce it, okay? Logic, it has to make sense. Like there is nothing makes sense when somebody say, when you relieve the stress, you will not have uh, stomach pain or abdominal pain. What does this mean? Yeah. My, my head is at the top. That's right. My, my brain is on the, on, the, on the highest point of my body is my brain. And the stomach is the middle point of my body. 
But when you start and explain that stress will impact your nerve system and your, your brain will become confused and it will send signals and it will send signals to different or organisms trying to uh, uh, recover or uh, send you warning and then you end up having the warning there, I may be see the logic there. You see the link between that. Yeah, another example is uh, how many of you here will get headache because they have been uh, awake for a long time or because you, you have an eyesight which is need correction. That's right. Or have been exposed for a big, uh, a high, um, a high intensity source of light. You start to see headache in the in the front. So what is this headache for? Like, do I take a Advil Tylenol for it? No. It's just somebody will stand up and say, because your uh, main decision making for the brain is in the front, for the eyesight. That's why you start to see that this particular area is giving you a message that I am tired. Close your eyes. Okay, so uh, brain decision making, it makes sense to join the program. Heart, it's good and it has an impact. And um, feet, it means they need to know the details or the steps. The feet will come say, tell me more. Oh, you know when you walk away from a presenter and say, yeah, he was nice, he was good, but he didn't tell us how it works. How does it work? They need to know how does it work. It, this is how they were, uh, how, how they are wired. You cannot change it. Got people, which is, will get into the controversy. That's why I always uh, put it outside. Because people who are driven by their guts or by the, by the internal feeling or intensity, or they, there's nothing really for them to Either they like you or don't like you, either they join. These people are very sensitive to the time. Like for me, uh, sometimes I sit in a presentation, I say, yeah, you know what, the presenter is great, the program is looks, looks awesome. However, he did not present professionally enough as I was, I was not able to get their sequence. So most likely I will not join because he is playing in a different league. I desperately need his program because I need the expansion of my program using leveraging his network and five, ten thousand dollars I can figure out how it can be done. However, I cannot, I don't, I have something inside me which show me like if this is acceptable and this quality is acceptable and he is having more clients who accept this particular level of no structure, no right messaging, it gave me that everybody else in his league is what? Is bringing in a different domain. So I would not sign. There are ways, and we can we can spare one complete course on, or more actually, on how we can de uh, detect these characteristics and uh, these characteristics, how we can detect it, and how you can operate uh, on it, and how you can uh, uh, how you can have the right messages for it. Um, but just as a simple thing. Um, if you want to know the resonant or how people resonate, people who are on the logic, they are always looking for the efficiency on how to use the dollars. People who are looking on the feeling. Sorry, efficiency of how to use the dollars? Yes. So uh, money is one aspect to them. One of the aspects. Like money decision making is one of the aspects. So you would say when, when I'm sitting in front of business clients, uh, even though they may be hard, they may lead with their money, but then I have to transition to the heart. Uh, I, I wouldn't come to this complex first. I want to just, uh, I wanna oh, just okay. talk about the triggers, okay? So These people will be triggered by people impact. Okay. These people will be triggered by the information. And these people will be triggered by the time. Uh, information is feet. Information is feet. Now, um, you brought a very good question, like, uh, if this is the four categories, or this is the four classes of uh, different uh, clients, yeah. we usually have three out of four. And we usually have, uh, uh, we lead with one. 
So each one of us in his decision making procedures, he needs to satisfy two to three of these, usually three. Okay. There are so many other models. There is a color model and the bank model and the disk model and there's so many other models. But these models are so complicated for you to apply it. Not only that, if you if, if you can you don't you can't assess the audience. You cannot assess the audience because desk model and bank model and they, they assume you have one on one. Yeah. I'm here talking about you are trying to go out to talk to fifty people in the room. I'm now talking to three people in the room. <coughs> yes, I do know you because I do know you because we have been in a in a professional relationship for the last uh, few months to few years. So we ha I, I, I have some understanding of how it works, but um, uh, majority of the other program like desk will talk about management. They ask you to do survey. I cannot do a survey for my clients. I cannot come and say, okay, can I have your desk assessment? Can I have your bank assessment? It does not work like that. So with all that you respect, the other science is really great. Uh, it's not practical for this particular business, which is selling information products. Like even uh, there is a very a very nice work uh, by Culture Smith, which is excellent. I love it. However, it assumes that you have these people as clients. So you can use these people here. You can use these people color in this area. When you have a client and customers, you can actually detect they are green, they are blue, they are red, they are yellow. But if I'm going outside my, my, my direct contact and I want to talk to the public, the message conveying has to fit their expectation. So this is how I recommend to have it as a structure. Very simple. You don't need to, yeah. Uh, and uh, it's very simple. When you stand on your feet and without having an organized message and say, <coughs> oh, tell me what you do. You ask yourself, I'm, I'm making sense to them. Do I, and you, you, you start to talk and then, oh, now let me make them feel good about it. Oh, let me now show them the steps. So if I come and ask you like, okay, can you tell me, so what you do? Just in your brain, oh, I need to give them logic. I am doing one, two, three, because people need that, that, that. And people who comes to my program, they will feel that, that, that and their f surrounding and their followers and their friend will notice the one, two, three. And the steps I'm using is, or the system I'm using is one, two, three. So if you convey this into two minutes or 90, mi 90 seconds or whatever time, you address this particular behavior curiosity, people will consider. You remember, I did not uh, talk about the guts because it's very, uh, the guts, all what you have to do is just, it's a time, um, People can see the results right away, and it's very time efficient. Uh, uh, it uses like you, you have to show that it you get results right away. So just a question on you know we always say you you buy on emotion. Is, is that specific to only heart feeling people, or is it everybody has got some level of buying on emotion? Everybody will have a level of buying on emotion. Even the logical people. Yes, because the logical people will need to, if you are exposed to do different offers, with the older, like, let's talk about insurance insurance companies. If you are shopping for insurance, which one you will buy? All insurances are the same, by the way. So if he, if he decides to, he, I'll say he, he's he a logical is. thinker. He's convinced, logically, that he needs insurance because somebody's convinced him. Then it's a matter of, why should I buy insurance from you and not this person? And yes. That's where the feeling comes in. Yes. Okay. So uh, uh, feeling uh, decisions are making on feelings, and I, I wouldn't tell you like oh, it's all it's always on feeling, but majority of the people because there are somewhere between seven to thirteen percent of us as guts. I'm trying to figure out what I am. I, I might just be gut. But no, I no, you are here. Yeah. All of your messages, and this is very important. I, this is just actually a deviation of what I was planning to take in sequence, but this is a very important thing. If you conf if you figure it out, who you are, 
you can convey the message to the other people. You can. You, you'll be a better disciplined individual who is coming to say, what is the message? So if you find yourself always talk about the how, the strategy, uh, you try to explain people how it can be done, you understand that you are dominant here. You have some other sense because any successful individuals on this table, they must have a little bit of logic and they must have a little bit of sense of uh, steps. Well, so for those of us that are um, bogged down by the heart and feeling <coughs> things, <coughs> the statistics, the, statist the statistics show that people who are dominant heart and uh, heart and feelings, they will not make it uh, based a specific range of income, and they will not make it based on a specific. There are some specifics around them. They can. They, they are not the most successful people. There's a reason for that. It's because they, there's, and that's really the, the client I'm going after is that they're, they're, they're not. There's a fine line between compassion and overcare, and their overcare takes over because they're usually heart-centered and they want to help people out of their muck, but then they want to give their services for free because they don't want to take more advantage yeah. by taking their money. It's this whole little vicious cycle. So, I can tell you one thing about me. I, oh, before before these things about me, or okay, just before we go further, I want to just clarify, just out of completion, being honest with you guys. Um, okay, so, we have different status and the state happening on a daily basis. So when I'm hungry, really hungry, I have no logic. I have a hunger feeling. I have no steps. I will, you'll open the fridge and you, we call it the sweeping. Whatever it is. The sweeping, that's right? The sweepers now are coming, that's right? It doesn't matter and uh, 20 days old, uh, uh, fries from McDonald's eaten before. That's right. I've been there, done that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And when you are fully content, fully satisfied, you have all of your family around you watching the Flames game, and the Flames are winning. This is a different mode, that's right. So you have in my model, and I always say in my model because uh, although I talk in these topics, I'm not uh, based on my experience. So in my model, there are three status of uh, or three modes which classify what percentage of influence you have from these uh, groups. So there are a content mode or a happy mode, there are a sad mode and there are a default mode. So you have a positive mode, a default mode and a negative mode. And these modes will make the decision-making influence are different for people to buy from you. Okay, so there's another layer. So when you're oh, there are so out, many layers. When you're stressed out, you you move. Some people shut their heart down, go right to their head. I could not figure it out. Yeah. In this way. That, no. By the way, when you're stressed out, yeah. you are a hard dominant. You have no logic. When you have a, a deep sorrow feelings, yeah, your heart. Your people are, are making decisions by their heart. They make no sense. Many of the decisions big people are making through uh, a disaster or a, a serious issues happening in their life. I, I call that fear-based decision making. Oh, fear-based is a good is a good statement for it. So. Like a double whammy, then. <laughs> no, you don't. As if I'm already hurt feeling, and then the negative well, things come up. Your heart, like based on the studies that I've seen. Your heart is actually the, the engine that drives your whole system. So if your heart feeling, all you have to do is connect the heart to the rest of your body, and you become, you can actually combine, you'll, 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 you'll blend the best of the logic, the steps, and your heart together because it's highly intelligent. And, and, and people have all of that. It's just that you're dominantly leading with the heart. So, you know, I'm not dominantly leading with the heart. I'm dominantly leading, like you said, steps. is absolutely correct. But what I have to do is I have to actually engage my heart so that I can bring all the blending in there. And that's my, and then, then that becomes my gut feel after that. Because that's really how it all kind of blends in together. You're, you're a multi-dimensional human being, so you lead in with one, but then you blend, you, you, you kind of 
Synchronizing okay. everything Before getting into the confusion, it's more complex mm -hmm. than what, but what I want to say is, when <coughs> I give you a message, a sales message, or a presentation, or a brochures, or a market piece, or whatever it is, people will resonate, do it, and they will make decision to go to the next level based on, on this particular four clashes. Do you think that if I have a market just, 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 what, what we have to understand another, another layer is, uh, if I feel good about your, your products and it, it, it follows my logic and I see the system, I will buy. How much percentage for me to accept your message, it goes with three modes. So if I am worried, if I am after hours, if I am not happy, if I am a continent or happy, it impacts the percentage of the influence of each one of these. There are some other models like desk and management. There are some other models like uh, there's so many f uh, models who's trying to model the behavior. And this only 80% of people will be like that. So for instance, I went to the introductory course for personal best. And as an adult educator, I just hated the whole environment that they created in okay. there. So was that the mood that was taking over from... What did you hate? I hated that you weren't allowed to leave the room. They treated you like two-year-olds. You couldn't have any food or water where you were. You weren't allowed to take notes. You couldn't, you know, there was, you, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do the next thing, whatever. And I thought, okay, I learn better by, by taking notes. And then I can go back and look at it. And you weren't allowed to do that. And you weren't allowed, to, you know, if you were late coming back from a break, they actually had guards at the doors saying, you know, you had to say why you were late coming back. Well, it's because there was only one washerman, three of the cubicles out of four weren't working, and, uh, you know, that's why I'm late. I just thought, really? You know, like, we're all adults. Like, give me a break. You know, I mean, it was just, wow. you know, oh, it was... That environment. <laughs> oh, it was awful. Absolutely awful. But, and, and we had little work groups in there, and our work group kind of stuck together after the first one, and... and I was the one that was most militant against it. And you know, when you met with the person that tried to sell you to the next level, I just said, there's no hope in hell that I'm going to the next one of these, you know, because I just don't agree with the way that you conduct your workshops. And it was just, so, so it was my mood that was probably overcoming. I want to deal with your messages before your mood, with your messages. So you were awesome. Actually, I, I would not think in a better, example than what you said you had a bad feelings about them because you were trapped mm -hmm. and you start to use the logic to justify why you are rejecting them and then you talked about their system of having the subgroups and is not working this exact message I got from you because you were triggered by not feeling uh, appropriately treated as two year old and then you start to put logic to it and when you at the end, why you didn't? Why did you tell us on having the system of somebody waiting in the in the room and uh, at the door? And why 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 do we care about having sub sub small groups for the system? Because you have the three, and one of them start to reject, and the others two conform conform the rejection. Your message was exactly one one two three. The way you did it, and that's why I, did, I, I just let you go. I, did, I didn't want to interrupt because this is how you have to convey your message. So having a positive mood, uh, it's very important because in a positive mood, people will lean away from their relaxations. That's why majority of the events you will go to, if they try to convince you, they have to be positive, they have to play specific music, they have to be a, they have to be a happy place to go to. They do activity to keep the uh, energy up. So the idea is to clear your mind to which energy here. You never go to a place to buy something and it's a very sorrow place. Okay. I know at Peak Potential when they had all their little um, entrepreneurial workshop kind of things, they always had upbeat music and then, you know, you go in a big little group of 
of everybody there, and you'd all sing a, an upbeat song together at the end of it, and it was, you'd get up and somebody'd be leading an exercise to get the blood flowing again partway through. It was, it was really quite scripted. Yeah. And, and when you understand this, you understand why you have to be happy, why you have to flip the switch. Like I think, I, I think I'm a good mother. I'm always consistent of uh, my treat, my my behavior with you guys, on the hopefully on the positive side. But I also do have disasters happening, but I never reflect on me because I'm always trying to make my clients <coughs> ha in this mood. And how you can make them in this mood? By you start first. Okay. Not. So that's why you should not go and whine. I say, oh yeah, I had a long day. And, oh, we have these so many clients. Like even when I be on some meetings, I say, yeah, you know what? I have so many now one on one, and it's good for the money. I think it's good. I don't like the one on one too much because I like the groups. However, uh, you cannot say no for the money. You know, like so you always try to make it positive messages because if you drive your people here, uh, it's difficult because these are more the rejections. There was also studies have been done before on advertising in particular <coughs> in specific regions. So they had a philosophy of if your team is losing, what kind of uh, in the in between uh, the, in, the, in, the, in between the periods, what kind of shows or uh, advertising you should see? Because if a team like if, if Warren Calgary and the Flame are losing. We are not in a good mood for first days. It's different, different message, messaging. So, so you don't need to go deep, dive deep in that because it's the biggest science and people spend like 20, 50 years of their life to just come up. But you are just trying to be cautious and aware. So if, I, if somebody will stand on your feet and say, oh, so can you help me with that? You're not prepared for this question. So you ask yourself, okay. Uh, let me show him the logic let me show let me show him the people impact and make him feel good and talk a little bit about my system that's it okay now i stopped uh, this particular area and i said yeah it's very important for you to know who what are your triggers and there are exercises for that but if I, so why it's important because if I know my trigger, what will happen? Then I, then I know that I gotta be mindful about not spending a lot of time in yes. one area. Yeah. And balance it out. Yeah. So if I know, uh, like I, I know for me it's gut and, and and brain. So I always try to push the other two areas because I'm not everybody's like me. Um. Communicating with different individuals, I know this. If somebody is more about the process, the procedures, the how it can be done, uh, he does not talk about the value to the people, he does not, does not talk about why the logic happened, you must work hard to implement these other messages because this one will come right away. This one will come right away, doesn't matter. Now, our experience also over time can it change us. So if somebody has all the systems in, have been laid down in place and then suddenly these people will be coming as a refugee in a different country, they will not believe in a system. Right. Okay, although they were happy with the system before and they may be the one who created the system. So there are some triggers in human, in human life uh, which will, uh, will, will change this behavior. And that's why if you know people who have gone through a marriage a couple of three, four times, mm -hmm. not a couple of times, but three, four times, and you know, them through, you know them through the journey, you will notice that their decision-making procedures have been changing because the surprise will make you change. In another way, you can you can develop yourself to dominate in an area which you don't have it, which is many psychologists will disagree on that, but it's true, you can. If you understand from zero to uh, two years old 
and then from 2 to 8 or 10 and then from 8 till 17 and then from 17 till 25 what will happen and how the educational around and the surrounding impact is you will figure it out like this is actually can be predicted there are some cultures don't have like Japanese culture will not have feelings dominant decisions it's all about the systems and it does make sense artists will be more on the feelings and the systems not the logic so I and we are not here to talk about this in a general way but if you know which one you are or which two you are you know that you need to work on the other one so if I were to promote a program let's say at a you know, trade show Let's say it's a 21 day journey. So I would have like two or three different postcards, one appealing to logic, one appealing to art. No, first, no. no. you will have only one postcard no. where the message no. of this postcard no. will address all three. That is a challenge. No. No. How, how, how? Uh, long of a message you need to show that it makes sense <laughs> no <laughs> the shortest message you need is one sentence one to two sentences and uh, what's the impact is one to two, sen to, to, to two sentences only so you can have three to six sentences on a postcard where it address all four okay something like if you follow those seven steps, you will see this happening and you will feel good about it. Yeah. So you have the steps in there, you have the C, it's the, uh, the visual, the, the, the brain, yeah, and I then after that, that you, you feel good about it. And, and, like and, your, and your, your friends and your family will experience the positive impact from day one. If oh, then day one, then you have even the time there. Right? Yeah, you even have the steps. steps. If you follow these steps. Mm -hmm. or, this sis, or this system. Or this steps or system or techniques. You will what? That was good. <laughs> you, you, you will see this result. Or you will experience. Or or yeah, you will see, you will, you will, you will see your experience. You see yeah. because see is very... Um, very brain, um, brain, 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 brain dominant. You will see these results. See or hear And and your friends will celebrate it with it, with you. Will celebrate you with it. Yeah. That's that's very interesting. Immediately, if you if you insert the word immediately, yeah. or quick results, or there are some wording. Remember, remember, like. And I know for I know for many of you will get confused. Okay, so what is I'm learning here? Yeah. Okay, this is uh, thirty-five thousand uh, or sixty thousand feet high. Yeah. Okay. If you wanna dig more in each one of these, you can go to the level of tuning your messages with word and tuning the colors of. Yes. So that's A B testing. Your messages. And then after that, you want to compare. So this is all our outside the context of today. And the content of today is if I want to win my launch, what are the proper messages and what are the checklist I need to launch this particular offer or products or whatever. OK, so till now, what we understand is we have something called uh, uh, general public, you have five categories of interest and you have four different levels of decision making which you have to address uh, all. I do have a question though. What's the default position between we talked about the positive and the negative? Is that just neutral the default yes. or just neutral? That, that just when people are neutral. Okay. When people are um, free of all internal and external influences so does not have a spouse which is screaming mm -hmm. in his ear 
He does not have kids who are screaming because they want to go to McDonald's. Uh, like for me, when uh, I took my son to one time to uh, one of these events, and uh, by the time he wants to, uh, under a promise, okay, so we will have the lunch in McDonald's that you come for. You have to do the tricks, right? You have to do the trick. Yeah. Uh, you come for me with two hours, and you sit here and you play, and they had his bean bags with me. I said, and then at uh, lunch time. So after five minutes, he come and decide to have lunch at 9.05. <laughs> you understand the kids, this, right? So if somebody is screaming beside you, Daddy, let's go for lunch, let's go for lunch, let's go for lunch. Do you have any logic to listen to any message? <laughs> Your gut feeling is, okay, give me what I want to do. I want to either buy or not buy and just move on. And kids know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is where, where I'm saying, like, when you, if you, when you bring, like, there are so many reasons for you to uh, ask your audience to bring their spouses with you, with them, and their friends with them, to have two, to support each other so they can stay longer. It's, it plays also in this particular lo uh, psychology. Because one of them will be more dominant than one, the other one will be more dominant than the other one. And they will put them the peace to stay. Uh, you know, so... And um, if you do financial uh, transactions, you, 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 they, like if you buy timeshare, they mandate that you bring your spouse with you. That's it. And you have to stay for two hours. What about you, Mr. Well, because you don't have that. I'm going to check with my wife yeah. first. Yeah. And you, that, you take that away from that. And uh, you will learn from uh, salesmen, they will tell you when people come in, they have to figure out who is the decision making. So the decision making is the boss at home is the man or the, or the woman or the, uh, and once they figure out the decision making uh, they will play hard on the decision making and this comes to be another higher level uh, of uh, sales training so when you go buy a new car and say yeah oh yeah i come here to check it out to come check it out uh, the salesman will tell you, oh, I am here to check it out so I can uh, talk to my wife about it. They say, oh, why you don't invite your wife with, the, with you in a, in a private ride and you can try out this new car? That's right. And then the conversation will happen. He will sit in the back and he will start to figure out who is the one who making decisions. <coughs> okay, we talked about this before, but uh, let's just uh, um, try to put it together as well. Um, so we understand that in uh, when people receive influence, people will go uh, or receive messages, people will go through five stages, that's right. There is the message itself, and the message people will receive it, and from the receiving of it, they will have perception, and then they will have retention, uh, rep repetition or iteration, and then they have retention. So they will retain your message, that's right. So when, when I give you a message, you will receive my message, and after some time you'll have some perception. Is it good, is it bad? And then uh, we have a iteration or repetition when I go to Google and search you, or I talk to, to other people who know of you, and then I will have a I will retain, yeah, he's good, he's bad, he, I want to join, I don't want to join. So we talked about these models before, and this is my model. I did not see it anywhere else. I'm, say, I'm saying that not to show off, I'm saying that because when you go out and see other people selling their different models of different other people, they did not think about it too much. But I, 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 I put enough resources in my life trying to understand, does this really model work? So... When people receive something and build per perception, what they will do? They will employ these triggers. That's right? Yeah. So that's right? You agree? Now, if both of you are married and she is only here or you are, or you are only here, she is more heart and steps because her career before involve so many steps okay and you are more like logic and the steps 
and because you care about the details that's why you hang around together that's right that's it people when they have say they share similar values they don't divorce they keep going now if you retain heart feeling and uh, steps and you retain brain and steps and then after you left the room you went home and you try to talk about how you want to get her to buy this program you will talk about your heart will talk to her brain or his brain will talk to her heart which does not work Honestly. that does not work that's why we don't we try to make the decisions as the receiving the receiving level not as the perception or the iteration okay it saved like this model saves lots of my life because I got to people which is we have an expert in introvert and extrovert people introvert people will come and say oh yeah we, we need we need our time to recover while people who are driven by guts or by logic Oh, let's just solve it now. Why do you have to suffer for five days feeling bad about it? Yeah. But the interverse, yeah, we need just our time to talk, to, to, to recover. So when I start to understand the differences, I start to have a better personal relationship, not at the business level, at even the personal level and the friendship level. So I have friends who are more on the time and I have friends who are more on the feelings. Oh, we are meeting tomorrow. Okay, so 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> they are feelings. They, they just, whenever they wake up, they want to feel good about it, they will come, okay? So so I don't get mad. You know, I know these people, I don't get mad. Like, if we if we call them up, I say, okay, we have a party for dinner at six, at six o'clock, and we will start to serve dinner at seven o'clock, and these people will show up at eight o'clock, you feel mad or not? Will you feel mad? Yeah, I no, you shouldn't. You shouldn't, but I would. Because when people having triggered by their feelings, and their kids are needing bambers or they need uh, crying, or they so there's something on the way, because they are feelers, <coughs> they will give it higher priority. So their instantaneous decision of what's important now, which is one acronym for when W I N, what's important now. Is driven by this mothers. So when if you drive in the car and you have kids screaming in the car for a stomach ache or for a bug or for whatever, just the kid wants to be silly, that's it. Uh, you are now what's important now is to have the kid feeling good. It's not the logic that you are losing a million dollar deal or you have the potential of uh, uh, you don't even believe that when you park on the side of the road you are actually higher risk there is no logic for you to go park on the side of the road but you should drive for five ten kilometers to park in a safe place in the next exit or next city but people don't do that people just take a decision right there you know what kids screaming is clearing their lungs it's not as bad as the sound okay like when kids will scream, they allow air and the flow to, to clear their lungs. So it's not as bad as a sound. But these are examples, and I'm not here, uh, like I love kids, I'm not, but this is just to give an example, like how we switch completely between these particular uh, feelings. So if you understand that, you must not feel bad when somebody doesn't want to talk to you right now. You must not be feel bad. Of feeling rejected or your message is rejected because you don't know which dominant and you don't know what's going in the room. Does it make sense? Do you understand now? I'm Sorry? I'm hungry. I'm going to my negative. They don't show up when I want to eat. Oh, I'm just saying. Yeah, something like that. But just, just eat. If they come late, they're late. And how will they feel? Hmm? That's the other point. Oh, how they feel, it's a very interesting because there are people who will come and uh, will never apologize to be late. They feel it's their right to be late. Because in their triggers, they are justified to be late. Right. And they are introvert, so they will not share 
These are triggers. I, I completely, I completely see the, the process. <laughs> and it's, it's really tough for when you're on the receiving end of somebody being late. I can see how you know you you automatically go into that because you talked about the positive, uh, neutral, negative. The person at the other end is starting to become or more on the negative side. So how do you shift into that positive? Welcome the men. Carry on like nothing's happened. I this is this is a different course how to shift on that but yeah. this is a different course i can tell you 10 20 10 15 20 years ago i didn't know that if i did know this at the time i would be a different person right now like uh, we, we we always blame the blame will come from the misunderstanding yeah. so somebody will come and say oh yeah i i keep selling my program for the last seven months and nobody bought it they don't like me no, they don't like your message. <laughs> your message does not resonate with them. It has nothing to do with mm -hmm. uh, they like you or they don't like you. Sorry, it was a weak moment. Okay. So the, the, when you understand these particular triggers and these are the stages of the triggers, it gives you an idea what are the plan and how you can react. So uh, if you can remind me from the bottom of the orange, the, the last two R's, one was iteration, like... One is repetition, how you repeat repetition. the... Yeah, repetition. repetition. Okay that. So how you repeated, how you repeat a message? Mm -hmm. By discussing it with your friends, with your neighbors, with your uh, uh, surrounding, by Googling it, by looking it up, by trying to read more about the program. Okay. And retention is what you will... Uh, retain at the end so for sure the couple of uh, sharing you had with us it showed that you retain wrong not wrong you retain a specific negative view that they didn't want me to retain okay yeah. spreading out to everybody so of the so if somebody will come to your program and will not subscribe will you will go away you will you can influence their retention by sending them specific messages which will uh, resonate with somebody who is actually thinking bad or negative about your program. And that's why when you have problems in the events or the location, people will come after that, not apologize, by, uh, by, by, but talk about it. So if you have a... If you have, like, let's call it, if you have a toilet problem, overflow, and nobody can, and there's no washroom on, on, on site, after the fact, somebody will send an email along the line saying, hi, guys, we, the, the management recognized there is this emergency happened, and in exchange, we are giving each one of you a $5 free, a $5 gift card in Starbucks. You're at least not standing there like the police at the door and giving you a hard time, like, you bad little girl, you weren't here on time, you know? And yeah. So it's your own damn fault because you can provide the facilities. Yeah, so, the so this kind of messages, or we give you this free ebook, or we give you, like, it doesn't need to have a, a money with it. Mm -hmm. um, we talked about, um, when I used to be in the corporate world, we used to talk about mm -hmm. how you can uh, award your employees. So, Will you give your employee a $12,000 or $10,000 check? Or will you give them a trip to Australia, which will cost you $8,000? Sorry, uh, away from the cost, which one you will select? You will give your, your good, perf high performing employee $10,000 cash or $10,000 trip to Australia? I would give them a trip. Trip? Why? Well, because it makes them feel better. It's, a, it's, it's, it's it, to them that is unique. They can make ten thousand dollars selling a product. It's actually a free marketing for you if you give them uh, a trip. A trip. Yeah. Because they will come and they will talk to everybody oh, the point, right? about you, and they will make them feel good. And they won't. They won't necessarily talk about their bonuses because they're they're not going to talk about I made ten thousand dollars on this. Yeah. And, and is, is, so is, is, this, is the trip ta not taxable benefit, is it? Uh, these are comp you see, no, no, but this is the interesting, uh, point. Uh, this is an interesting point that you are, uh, like, I know, I know, I got you are more into, 
the information, you know, <laughs> which is good. It's good to recognize, like, like, don't get me wrong, like, we did not come through 30, 40, 80, 60, whatever years of age we have with whatever experience we have to come today to make a decision. Oh, you know what? I was making the wrong decisions in my whole life. No, we are here to recognize who we are. It's a closed door. There is no sharing of whatever you are uh, from personality perspective. You have to recognize who you are and then you have to craft and, and, and make a cautious decision. You want to talk to these people? Yes, you have to figure it out. Figure it out means you have to craft your messages. It's not hard task to address how they will feel, how they will. There are very simple questions you can ask. What makes sense for people to join my program? What makes, what make, what's the impact they can have on them and their surrounding, which is the feelings? And what are the steps they will take to achieve the results? Remember, each one of us must have a program where a sad face become a happy face. So this is a problem. That's right. So if you understand this particular sad face to a happy face, and you line up with these four questions, is it? And as, as, as you had an example, there's one statement you can say, which will address everything. In negative side, the dominant will be one, and the other two will be blind. That's why when we deal with people in a tough time, we always ask the question, what do you think about, so, uh, can you think about solution? Can you tell me how do you feel about uh, a possible solution and how can you find the solution? Can you answer me? And people will look at this as three questions. For a frustrated somebody, this is just one question. Because he or she will resonate to what? To the segment of this question which will resonate to their head, to their brain. That's it. Or just reactive, right? Yeah. He will react. It will take no seconds to react to the question which will uh, suppress the, the dominant decision making. But it will take about ten, two to ten seconds for you to make to try to make sense of the question. That's why when we stand in front of presentations, scientific presentations, and even if the area of our research, but they don't talk about our feelings and they don't address our, our emotion, people will just say, yeah, it was a brain drain presentation. I couldn't understand anything. He was not a good speaker. He was not a good speaker because he did not trigger any of these. So if you're in a room, because I mean, in that instance, you've got not left brainers all in there, like logic thinkers, right? Not necessary. No? Not necessary. You assume that a bunch of engineers, majority of them will be uh, brain dominant. This is one of your assumptions. Well, it's an assumption, but it's also an expectation. Like if I walk into a, a white paper or a technical paper discussion, I don't want you to be talking about feelings. I'm just talking about generic engineers. Would not, I, I want to learn about, the, you know, I come in here with the expectation that I'm going to use my logic and the steps. That's essentially what the, how a paper is graded and, and, and peer reviewed. Yes, but uh, on a public presentation to stand there and to go into details on how the algorithm was made and how the steps were made, yeah. it's so boring to me. It, it, it because for me, I'm, not, everybody, I, I'm looking, no, not everybody, like uh, uh, I, I go to, um, I go to different groups. So some of, one of the group actually was on Saturday and uh, this is an IT group it was after uh, in downtown. So. When you go to this group, you'll be shocked. They will have the program on uh, on the screen, and they will talk about uh, uh, what. Like, like, give me a break. Like, yeah, could show me how the steps can be done at a level which make me feel I can do it. But I'm not here to see if then condition and the for loop and the while. I'm not sure if you understand what I mean. But oh, so the, 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 the details. Like the details. Stay at a, at a surface. Yeah, you stay you stay at the surface because not everybody is deep into these details. But because the nature of these guys are from the IT world, they are more into these details. And there are actually many people are enjoying the presentation. And for me, it's very damn boring. Like I'm here, I want to know the steps, and I have the chance to apply them and if I fail in one you can it's exactly what we do just you do it and if you cannot get the step I can help you fixing the problem but as I say I'm not here to see 
the index is i equal 0 to 11, not 10. You can read that in the paper itself. You know? So this is where you have to craft your messages. Okay. I made a big So part of this presentation, which is I'm not sure how are we synchronizing whatever I had I thought here. We talked lots of time about you need to know your audience, mm -hmm. okay? And people will come and say, oh, who is a realtor? Who is a financial advisor? Who is an insurance broker? Who is? No. When I tell you you want to know your audience, I don't care what their professions are. I want to know what are their triggers are. Their professions is required if you want to, if you have similar customers and you want to talk in your testimonials about your customers. But there, I don't care. I care about what, so if somebody's financial, um, I'm not, let's just speak about this financial uh, advisor because they're so interesting. Uh, <laughs> if you go to a financial advisor and then he will show you, he will sell you this package and then suddenly he will try to show you what are the stock exchange and how they can and yeah. all these stocks and, the and you can look and you can even need a, not even a, a need a periscope or a, a microscope or a telescope or like it's not even glasses it's not like magnifying glasses because they have these little fonts and these little tables and they show and they're oh, okay sorry like i'm hiring you to take care of these details mm -hmm. why are you showing it to me this is my position and majority of the wives will leave the husbands who are supposed to be from this area and all what these guys are trying to do are trying to resonate to the brain uh, to the logic people in the room that they show them they know the process and the detailed people in the room what are the details of the process but the man who making decisions which is they want to bring them to feel good which is the wives they don't care and this is one of the biggest uh, challenge and they come and say, oh yeah, you know what? Because of their ego at the time we play, say, oh yeah, we have mandate by our uh, certificate or license to show these details. Yeah. This is wrong. It's wrong? Yeah. You are mandated to show me these details once you got the contract, not before you are showing me what you can do for me. Once you have the contract, you have an obligation because you work on my behalf yeah. to disclose all of these details. But if you stand and you try to recruit us to join your program and there are three, four steps, there is no certificate required that you give me board. And well, you have to show the prospectus. That's before you, if while you're promoting the product, you have to make sure the person per has got the prospectus of your financial instrument before you sign up. That's the only thing. Yeah, but in, in a public presentation when they invite 100 people, yeah, well, does anybody care about these portfolios? And I will be shocked because there are people that are asking questions. What, yeah, this is like a, a snapshot of like a week ago or a year ago, uh, some time ago, okay? And maybe some of these companies don't exist anymore, by the way, you know? <laughs> and, and, and people are asking very detailed questions. Uh, and I used to get mad. Said, what? But I understand now. 
these people need to know more to feel good about their uh, information. When you get clients who say, oh, we don't care, you figure out the details, which will be a hard people, most likely, they don't need. If you give them more information, you send them into the wrong area. Okay. Any more questions here? Can you see how the, so the whole the whole components of different material can be put together? You mentioned something about having a checklist. Is that what we're going to do? Or are we yeah, this what we, this, yeah, this is what we'll talk about in, in, in the messaging. But uh, before we go to see what are the instrumentation to talk to these people, you need to understand yeah. what you target. Okay. That's why you need to have always a section. If if I if I'm not aware of your brand, so and you so this is here not aware. So that would be a, like a good question in the beginning of the, the session to say how many of you have heard about X Y Z. Actually, this is a very dangerous question okay. because if you if nobody will raise his hand, it means you are known you are nobody for anybody. Uh, sorry, you are nobody for everybody. Well, unless you know the answer. You know, mm -hmm. so, uh, uh, but if you talk about writing material, you need to have a section which called about or who you are. What the hell is this program about? Yeah. When did you start? Because you try to act to address people who are yeah. not aware. Okay. You may want to have Q and A to address rejections section. And you will need to show what are the circumstances for people who are buying? Okay. The Q and A could also take form of heart, a feet, you know, brain kind of questions. Yep. 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 So, um, what is? Um, uh, what, they just if we want to take this to action because we are not <coughs> here about the science, we are not here about the logic, we are here about the outer action. So, if I want to uh, address general public, or I want to send my message to general public, what is the simplest way to give general public my message? Like, what is the simplest way, which is? Maybe the, the, the media through which you. Yeah. What is the simplest way? What is? Flyers. Uh, flyers. So let's just pick up one tool. So if we want to talk about, okay, let's take a, let's take a break and then when we come back we we'll talk about the details. So let's take a break for like ten minutes. Not even now.